Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Friday, June the 19th. The year's 2020. Let's talk trading. It's time for the weekly wrap up. As you all know, these videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. Trading is extremely risky. You can lose all of your money. If you need trading, investment, or financial advice, seek the advice of an accredited financial professional. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. Please click subscribe and like, and then you can click the bell to make sure you don't miss another one of my videos. Now, if you're also new to the channel, you have to know that your risk is the amount or percent of your account that you're willing to lose per trade. You don't want to lose any more than that per trade because that's what takes you out. The money management side, maybe I should do a separate screen for money management, is you've got to take the pips before the market takes it back. And the brain management side, you don't want to do any of these, have any of these emotions, these feelings going through your head. Because if you feel pain or mental anguish, it's not coming from the market. It's it's 100% your reaction to the market. So for the week, all the gaps filled. And you can see we had a nice breakdown through that weekly low. We're now down 115 pips. So anybody taking that short and writing it, you can see you, you made a bunch. Now, look at this. We broke through the opening range for the week right here. And we broke through yesterday. We touched it on the high today. And you can see we're 94 pips below that level. So once again, a couple simple horizontal line trades. And you're up pips. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. And this monthly open bar, you can see we're only 30 seven pips above that low so possibly next week we might test that level and continue down or we might come back up through the upper level but these are the types of trade i like to call them the no look trades where you you place these trades and then you just wait and see if they trigger you don't have to live and die by the tick Okay, four red days in a row, speaks for itself. You see what happens here. Price open below that previous mid dot. Oh, by the way, let me show people. Here's the indicators, TRO mid dots. It's in the TRO build 1000 freebie zip file that I send out or you can download um, where I post my indicators. Actually, I'm just gonna start saying it, Kresslick.com. Um, you know, because I don't post on other forums anymore. It's pretty much a waste of my time. A bunch of people telling me, you know, um, why what I'm doing doesn't work or won't work. Well, hey, you know what? It might be true. It might not work for them. Doesn't mean it doesn't work. So, yeah, you can get the uh, TRO build 1200 file, the MT4 motherloads thread over on Cresslick.com. And down here in the comments, or uh, not the comments, but the description of the video. If you click the show more, you'll see the links to those places. Inside bar on the daily happened 16 days ago. We're almost back in that area. We're in the weekly inside bar. And we're also in the monthly inside bar. You can see here the dashboard is showing those. That's the dashboard, TRO 2017. And yes, if you make a donation of $50 or more, uh, you will definitely get the TRO 2017 dashboard with the 2020s. Um, I just haven't updated the dashboard yet because it's going to take a massive rewrite for me to do it because of some of the things I want to put into it. For example, you know, in the smart ranges, um, you now have a min and max threshold. Well, in the dashboard, you only have a single threshold. Well, I want to put in, um, you know, where you can have your threshold and then you can also have a min and a max threshold. Um, 
that's mainly for the squiggly line traders where sometimes there's a zero point and a negative point and a positive point. So that's why I need to have three, um, at least three thresholds. Okay, on the range daily, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs over the 100. Pound clocking in at 107 at the moment. Eight pips off the low, daily low, now seven. And once again, TRO dashboard. But if you uh, send a donation, it ha um, has to be minimum 50 to for me to send out the indicators. And no, I'm not begging for, for donations. I'm just telling people how it works. It's You guys don't have to send donations. I give you enough free stuff. You don't have to worry about it. You know, for example, on this chart, all these indicators, with the exception of the dashboard, you can get for free the buy zone, the HL5, all the good stuff. Basically, the indicators that are donational, um, they have some added features. Um, and you also get the dashboard. The rat zone here, let me show these indicators. Um, I'm going to turn off the smart rat zone for right now, show you how to do that. So you can just see the regular rat zone. Now, remember, um, those rat zone traders out there, if you use the H1, it's probably going to work to your advantage. So right here, you see we had a close of the H1 inside the green rat zone. We had an open of the next H1. You see how it popped up? Could have made money there because right there, there's a holo trade and a one, two, three. This is all, all the good stuff. So this is the rat zone. Okay, don't, that's not a method. It's just an area on the chart within 20 pips of the daily low or daily high. And so here, there was a chance to take profit here. Here, if you got in somewhere near the open and triggered, even though it barely left the zone, there was still enough distance there. Let's see. Uh, opened at 59, had a high of 70. That's 11 pips, 10, 11 pips. There's no reason you couldn't take five pips. Here we opened, but we never triggered long. And you can see here, possibly next hour, um, even though it's a long ways off, you might get a trigger. But if you were to take a lower time frame signals, you might get chopped up, especially if you're new or new to this method. So set it to the one hour. You know, you might only get one or two trades, but that's all you need because we've already discussed minimum wage training. If you're trading a dime a pip, you got to make a lot of pips to make minimum wage. Think of it. You're going to have to make 150 pips to get to $15 an hour or or 100 pips just to get to $10. And it's, re, you know, no, you'd have to see a dime a pip. If you were doing a, yeah, I think I did the math right the first time. Okay, um, this rat zone indicator, the rat, the dynamic rat right here, TRO dynamic rat. Um, once again, it shows you how the, the uh, lows were pushing down right here. So, but it's, it's kind of dynamic, but it's showing you the, the 20 push off of the low here. Maybe I should go in and change that so it doesn't um, push up. It only will push down. And actually, that's on H4. Let me move it to H1. And you can see it a little more clearly. So there was an exit of the rat zone. See here, there was an exit of the rat zone. There was a slight exit. So that shows it a little bit better. Once again, TRO, dynamic rat. On the pivots, for those people who like pivots, um, this is the SDK pivots indicator that I modified. Um, you can see we didn't hit the pivot today, so there's another missed pivot. We're almost down to the monthly pivot. On the weekly, we did take out the weekly pivot, but on the daily, we missed it. So we've missed three pivots in June so far. 
we'll see what happens we still got about half the month left right in and out of the wick zone and shout out the mighty one he uh commented that out of all my methods he likes this one the best well maybe because it has about a 70 to 80 percent chance of uh giving you a, a chance to make a winning trade as you can see how price likes to dance in and out of these wick zones these are the daily wick zones you can do them on weekly and monthly also simple price action okay here we go this is the screen that people really want to know about um, the buttons indicator I like to do buttons separate window but but because I want to have as many lines on the chart as possible for video that's off to the side. The three level ZZ semaphore indicator, that's the one that puts the three balls and the two balls and the one balls. The TRO time or dollar sign. That's this little indicator here. And, the, and this is, I put this on there for charting purposes and posting. So people go, oh, well, you know, you only did this or you didn't show that. It's like, no. Here, here it shows you the bar, the server, my local time, and now I add, updated it to GMT time and how many uh, hours, minutes, and seconds are left in the bar. So when I post out on forums, I'll have this indicator, even though I don't post on forums that much anymore, other than just to have show my videos. Um, but this way you can see that, yeah, I post charts in order. I'm not cherry picking. Or any of that other nonsense that people claim okay uh b clock is here once again just gives you the uh, price the symbol and how much time is in there except i did do one trader a favor he uh oh that's buttons i need to go to b clock edit you can either show the ADR or the previous high low down there. So I'll just show you. So there's previous high low right there. And that's for the time frame. Or I don't remember what happens if you try to show both. So we'll find out right now. So if they're both true, you get a mess. <laughs> Obviously, there's something I should probably fix in that indicator but he begged me for it so maybe you shouldn't show try and show both oh it looks like there's something wrong with the previous high low yeah i must have it named wrong because it didn't it didn't get rid of that object okay i'll have to go fix it magnified market price here it shows you once again time frame the pair the price daily close minus open high minus close and close minus low i like to refer to that as the gps and then the multimeter candle color here that's a donational tro 2017 shows you on all the time frames if it's red or green and how many in a row red or green sweet spot goal indicator this is the one that just prints out the levels. Uh, default is every 10 pips, but you can change that. Template name just puts a template name up there. Trading wheels, price action gives you the skull. If you go into idiot mode, you can turn that off if you don't like seeing it. And you can see that goes away because hopefully you're not an idiot, <laughs> but. Just for demonstration purposes and finally uh, the spread dots indicator why did i click on that and that's this one it it puts the spread dots here but it shows you the peak and valley and gives you some history you can tell it how much history to give it okay so fellow traders that wraps it up for the week i hope your week was profitable uh thanks again for watching these videos i appreciate it um let's see I don't know if I'm going to do an, send out another batch before the month's out or not. I'm thinking I might send out maybe batch 5A um, 
to update the smart ranges indicator. I've made a few changes. So just remember, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it.